Hi, and welcome to the garden. Um, today's garden tour is going to be in this jungle. Um, I have my little gathering basket and my little shears and my string because we may be doing some tying up of tomato plants while we're out here. Um, I got this new gardening basket this week at Aldi and it's like a collapsible one so I don't even actually have it like open up all the way. It has another level that can come out but I've been using this the last couple days because I have a huge um, like plastic tub for a gathering basket um, for like when the melons and stuff start to get ripe and I'm just like inundated with tomatoes but for right now I don't really need that and so I've just been harvesting a few cucumbers here and there and some herbs so I found this at Aldi and it was like eight bucks and I can keep this in the house which is nice because I don't have to go out to the garage to get my basket to harvest so let's take a look around and see what we have going on out here so um, I need to come out here and weed again, but I will say that I didn't weed any of this last time I came out here to weed. So the herb area is looking a little um, jungly, but I have been harvesting off of this lime basil. Um, and I have been adding this to salads. I added it to a curry I made this week and it is super good. So, um, so with herbs like basil, as you can see, like right here, I cut off this stem and then these two stems appeared. So if you cut off the stems of bait, I don't know about other herbs, but I know it works with basil. If you cut off a stem near two sets of leaves, like right here, there's a set of leaves and then over here, it'll form two new stems. So just a fun fact. Um, I haven't harvested much rosemary in the last couple weeks, but I probably will this week. Um, this basil, I have harvested a ton off of. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna make some pesto today, I think. And I'm gonna actually make it with slivered almonds instead of pine nuts, because pine nuts are so expensive here. Um, but I've heard that you can use pretty much any nut, so we're gonna try slivered almonds. Um, this dill is tall and beautiful. I've harvested quite a bit off of this to make some pickles, and my other dill is starting to, you know, grow and get taller, so that's exciting. Um, if you actually leave dill, like, to flower and go to seed, it will attract um, caterpillars that turn into like monarch butterflies, I think. I think that's right. So fun fact, I don't know. Um, the onions <laughs> um, look ridiculous. I did dig a couple up yesterday because the tops were completely dead. Um, like see, this one is like almost completely dead. This is still a little green. Um, but there were a couple out here that were completely dead on the top and I thought, oh, is this like bad or are they dying? But no, they were ready to harvest. So I dug a couple up, they weren't huge. But I dug up one red and one white onion. I need to trim these again. They're getting unruly. Um, I'm trying to keep this walkway clear. See this onion, it's not helping with anything. These onions are just like, I didn't realize this would be a problem. You know what I mean? I've never done onions. Um, look, here's a cucumber that needs to be picked. <laughs> Again, I just picked some yesterday. And look, like this one cracks me up. It's just hanging out. Uh, strawberries, yeah, as usual, or just, you know, oh. There's a tree coming in this one, so we're just gonna pull that out real quick. Um, the peppers. I came out and watered everything this morning. That's why everything is like soaking wet. Um, these peppers are like, I just, I'm just like so like confused because there are no peppers on this plant. And like, usually for me, a plant this size, this is probably like two feet tall. This would have like four or five peppers on it. My Serrano plant's growing and it has a flower on it. 
but like none of these have flowers on. This one does have a flower on it. Actually, it has a couple, but no peppers. This little baby pepper down here is looking weird, but it's still growing. The other one, it's over here on the ground, it fell off. Um, the jalapeno plant has like five or six flowers on it, but again, no fruit. I don't know what's going on with these things. I've been giving them Epsom salt um, sprays. I'm trying to do that like once a week at this point, just to kind of give them a little boost, I guess. I don't know. Cause see like this plant should have peppers on it and it doesn't. And I just don't know. I don't know why. Like here's a flower, but like it, it fell off. Like it's flat, it's dead. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I'll get one pepper this year, who knows. Um, down here in this tomato area, there's, well, here's a broken branch right here. Oh, it's not actually broken. It's just bent, I guess. So this needs to be tied up. I need to go get some bigger stakes because this is just like a one foot stake and that's not tall enough. Ultimately, I need to be able to tie this up like up here. So I need to probably go do that today. Um, but these plants are like loaded with with tomatoes. I just need to come through and like tie stuff back up a little bit because they're starting to fall over, which is what happens with these, which is kind of annoying because you're not supposed to prune them, but they just become this mess. Like, look, this is just a mess. <sighs> and you just kind of have to like dig through them to pick stuff and it's just, it's just a whole thing. The sun has arrived back here. I tried to get out here before the sun got too harsh back here, but I had to go to Kroger this morning and grocery shop, so. Um, this is my one big producing bunch of bush beans. This bunch of bush beans is two plants, and I don't know, I don't know what's going on with this one. I might just pull this one out because it's not doing well. This one is doing okay. It has a tiny little bean on it, but I'm worried that Honestly, I'm, I think the cucumber might be stealing all of its water. That's what happened last year. So I may come out here. I may actually sow some more bean seeds out here again. Yeah, there's some beans on here that need to be picked. Um, but yeah, th these plants are doing better. There's three plants right here. Um, they're not doing great. I need to come out and spray with neem again, but they're doing better than these over here. Uh, the sunflowers, I need to trim them a little bit. They're starting to encroach. Um, what in the world? This cucumber is starting to go awry. There's another pickle. This one's not quite ready to pick. I mean, I could pick it if I wanted to. I'll leave that for another day, maybe. Or maybe I won't, I don't know. See, like, these are starting to grow. Yeah, we're gonna be inundated with pickles here pretty soon. Um, I may can some pickles today. I'm not sure yet. I may, I have three or four, um, in my refrigerator that need to have something done with them. So I may go ahead and just pickle those. This needs to go up. Up you go, sir. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to not let them kill my beans this year, but I don't know how well it's working. This plant looks pretty healthy though, so that's good, and it's right next to it. This plant that's a bush bean and not a pole bean. Still salty about that whole situation. Um, this little baby one is coming up pretty nice. Again, I don't know if this will be a bush bean or a pole bean. We'll find out. Um, exciting news on the melon front. I came out yesterday morning and I was looking at this watermelon plant and 
I noticed a baby watermelon. Look at this guy. He is about the size of a big marble. Actually, he's a little bit bigger today than he was yesterday. So I'm gonna work pretty hard to get him on this side of the trellis, not the back side, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm so excited about that. That's, I, I, yeah, I'm just so excited. I can barely stand it. Um, this one over here is still growing. And as you can see, this plant is not as big because this plant actually sprouted like three or four days after this one. And so I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have one strong plant and one plant that's a little bit smaller, which I think is okay. Um, I'm sure this will still produce fruit, but they may just be a tiny bit smaller than this. This plant is almost, I don't know, four feet tall now. So that's exciting. Here's my dead bush beans. But are they dead? I don't, I just don't know. I don't know. Um, my second cantaloupe has a bunch of leaves on it now, which is exciting. Uh, this cantaloupe, the big one, I haven't really given it a good once over yet. It's to the point where it could have a cantaloupe growing on it, but I have not given it a good look. See, like there's some female blossoms on here, but I just haven't given it a good once over. I don't see any that have been pollen. Actually, this one may have been pollinated. I don't know. Well, I've never grown cantaloupes, so I don't know how fast they are to shrivel up like a cucumber. Like if a cucumber doesn't get pollinated, if the bloom gets like this, the cucumber is pretty gross, pretty quick. But I don't know. I don't know with cantaloupes. Um, this pole bean, the actual pole bean, it has this weird, the leaves on the bottom look a little weird and there's some dead ones, but like up here, it looks so healthy and it's growing up like, focus, here we go. It's as tall as I am almost. So I don't, I am not real sure what's going on, but it'll be all right. Um, this bush bean is pretty big, um, it doesn't, oh, it does have a couple beans on it right now. I did plant some more seeds over here, but I don't remember where I planted them, one, and two, they haven't come up. Actually, there may be one right here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's one. I don't know if that's going to come up or not. It doesn't look like it will, but maybe... Maybe it will. You know what I actually have done before? I've dug down and like actually gotten the seed back out and then covered it back up and it's grown. I'll just leave it like that, I don't know. Um, the Burpless Cucumber has a bunch of cucumbers on it. There's a couple on here I need to pick. I just picked three of these things yesterday. Um, like this one needs picked. This one probably could be picked. And then that one that's back there needs to be picked. Yeah, this thing is, come back. You need to stay on your side of the trellis, sir. Cause hopefully I'll have some pole beans over here. <laughs> yeah, it's taller than me now. I think this will be the first, well, no, I take that back because can you see this purple Russian down here? It's almost to the top. Let's go down there and see what's going on because that. That's a yellow tomato. This thing is ready to pick. It's feeling soft. It's ready to pick. Let's pick it. Actually, I might cut it off. I'm going to cut it off. I'm not going to yank it off. But yeah, these, uh, this tomato plant, this lemon boy is a little bit smaller than the other one, I think just because it set fruit earlier. Um, see like this one's a lot taller than that other one is. I'll try to get this to weave back up, but I don't think it's gonna want to. Um, I don't have any more blushing yet. I did cut some green ones off yesterday. My mother-in-law wanted to make fried green tomatoes. So I cut her off a couple. 
These Chianti Rose are still growing. Like this thing is insane. Like that's my, it's, it's bigger than my hand at this point. And that one. And these haven't started blushing yet. So they're still like actually growing. Um, the purple Russians. This one is starting to turn purple. I don't know if you can see that as well, because the sun. This one, the rest of these haven't like at all. No. This one has a tiny bit maybe blushing. But these this big one hasn't at all. Um, yeah, and then like look look at all these tomatoes. And yeah, he's one rung away. This is the top right here. He's one rung away from being at the top. So, there we go, big tomato plant. Um, the San Marzano, there's another tomato that needs to be picked, but like, look at all the fruit on this. Right? It's just everywhere. A bird pooped literally down that tomato, that's fun. And I love how these grow, they're so like, variegated, yeah. Look down here. Oh, this one's ready to come off. Now if I can get it off, I don't know. And they have a little bit of scarring. These are the first set of tomatoes off of this plant, so they're gonna look like this, but that's okay. Now, I ate the other San Marzano that I accidentally picked the other day. I ate it yesterday after I came back from running. I just cut off the green top, and it was so good. <laughs> I put a little bit of salt on it and just cut it in half, and I just like oh, ate it. it was so good. The Long Keeper. Again, lo absolutely loaded with fruit. Um, it can be tied up again, give it a little more support. But yeah, these are still pretty small. I don't actually know how big these are supposed to get. Um, these are more of like a saladette size, I'm guessing. I'm not exactly sure. They are looking pretty healthy. This is the one of the plants that had blossom end rot pretty bad, but they look pretty good now, so that's good. Um, the Cherokee Purples, this plant is as tall as this Long Keeper now. They both have fruit on them. This one only has the one. No, it has some little baby tiny ones in there, but yeah. Ooh, look, another faceated blossom. I'm gonna try to try really hard to pollinate that because I really want a massive tomato. I really want it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, these are getting pretty tall, which is awesome. I need to come out and like cut these off the sunflowers because they're gonna encroach on this area a little bit. Look at that baby. He's all scarred, but he is ripe. Well, thanks for watching this garden tour. Um, things are happening out here. I say that every week, but every week I'm just, I continue to be impressed by what's going on out here. I do. And it's been a lot of hard work. It's still gonna be a lot of hard work. Um, there's pollination happening as we speak right now on the watermelon plant. Like literally there's a bee on the watermelon. Oh, and now he's going over to the cantaloupe. Nope, he changed his mind. Oh, now he's on the cucumber plant. <laughs> so I'm gonna get out of his way so he can do his little job. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.